Good afternoon, sir. Good morning po pala.
Okay, good morning, grade 11 Aristotle. Okay, kids, um, I already um, announced to your classes that we will be starting on time, even though that you were not um, as many as I expect. Um, kasi if we are going to wait, oh, sayang naman yun ang mga nagpapaload, di ba? I mean, they consume, they consume data in waitings instead na nagsastart na tayo. Ayun. Anyway, lagi, nasanay na kasi tayo, di ba? <laughs> so, uh, starting this quarter, late na nga eh. Dapat nga noon pa, di ba? So, we will start on time. So, obviously, class, um, uh, the topic is not yet on our module. Okay? Kasi, they, uh, there are some topics that um, I haven't discussed which is actually included still in the third quarter but you need to um to learn okay especially that you are humes right and that um you are going to apply this in your research um research analysis when you are about to conduct your quantitative research okay so our topic for today is all about parameter versus statistic so you see it right it's not um incorrectly spelled tama po yung statistic natin magkaiba po si statistic kay statistics okay sinadya po talaga na walang s yan sa dulo okay so what about parameter and statistic okay so parameter versus statistic a parameter is a measure that describes a population on the other hand a statistic is a measure that describes a sample. So last quarter, I guess that you have this um, idea of what is a population and a sample. Tama ba ako? Naalala pa ba si sample and si population? Naalala pa ba? Ah, sige, wait lang ha. Ayan. So, okay na ba? Ayan. May clear ba? Ayan. <laughs> okay. Ah, sige. Ano yung pinagkaiba ni population and sample? So, I guess that you have your research and I hope that it is um discussed to you. And actually, you have read this, di ba? Kaya nga tayo nagkakaroon tayo. Di ba na last time, yung first topic natin sa fourth quarter is random sampling. Ba't tayo nagsasampling? Kasi kailangan nating i-represent yung ating population. Right? So, what is a population? So, a population is a total number of, of elements of respondents in a certain group. Let's take for example. Di, di ba? Pag sinabing population, kunwari, population of the Philippines, yun yung total number ng mga tao na nandun sa Philippines. The population of grade 11 students. So, kung ilan lahat ng grade 11 students, that is the population. So, that is the total number of elements in a certain group. The sample is a specific number in a group wherein it represents or it best represents a population. So, the sample is ito yung mga... Ay, humina audio ko. Wait, naisin ko lang. Ay, sige. Um... Ayan. Itaas ko pa. <laughs> okay. So, ayun na nga. Si, si statistic, or sorry, si sample is, as, as I've said earlier, is the specific number of elements from the population that would, that would re best represent our population. So, kunwari, um, instead of getting the 156 grade 11 students in CTSI, we are going to choose 10 students only to represent the whole group. And that is sample. Kaya last meeting, diba, meron tayong different ways of or techniques 
of random sampling kung paano ba tayo kukuha ng 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 ano ng sample from the population that would best describe our population and that each element in the population were given chance to represent the group diba ngayon po in parameter versus statistic kapag prinasas natin yung data yung number na binigay from the population that is what do we call a parameter Otherwise, if the data analyzed were processed, or sorry, yeah, <laughs> were processed and it is from the sample, the measurements or the values that we obtained from the values of the sample were called statistics. Okay? So, by the way, dalawa kasi pala class yung magiging activity niyo for week 7. Okay, number one is you are going to describe a certain scenario if it's a parameter or if it's a statistic. So pag parameter siya class, ibig sabihin, sinasabi niya is all about population. Otherwise, kapag may representation na tayo, that would become a sample. And it is a statistic. Nakuha po. So ayun siya. So the other one is of course solving. Ito yung ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon. So, ano yung kaibahan, sir, ng parameter and statistic? So, as you can see, class, merong differences sa kanilang formula. So, yung parameter natin, as you can see, our parameter is denoted by a Greek letter. So, pansinin niyo yung mga ano, class, symbols na ginagamit natin for parameter. As you can see here, di ba, mu ang ginamit and sigma. Diba? Mu sigma squared and sigma to denote our mean, variance, and standard deviation. Diba? So, sa statistic naman, ang ginagamit natin class is Roman letters or the English alphabet. So, as you can see, we have X here. Pero may bar siya sa taas. So, this is what do we call an X bar. Ewan ko natuto ko na sa inyo last time. Yan po ay titawag na X X bar din lang ka, diba? X bar. Ibig sabihin, X na may bar sa taas. Yan, X bar. And then we have the S squared and S for variance and standard deviation. So kapag Greek letters ang ginamit class, parameter yon. Ibig sabihin, ang data na pinagkuhaan ay from the population. Okay? Sir, anong kinaibahan? So, our formula sa mean is actually hindi yan nagbabago. The way we get our grades is mean. So all we have to do is to sum all the elements, to, to add up all the elements, specifically the grades, di ba? Tapos divided kung ilan sila. So dito class, sa parameter natin, ang formula for the mean is mu is equal to summation of x over capital letter N. Bakit capital letter N class? Kasi ito yung titawag nating population size. Pag sinabi natin population size, yan yung dami ng population. O katulad na sinabi ko kanina sa grade 11, ang population natin is 156. So, capital letter ay population size. Sa statistic naman, sa ating sample mean, x bar is equal to the summation of x over small letter n. Ang small letter n naman natin class is tinatawag nating sample size. Sample size. Eh, tabing magsulat. Okay. So, bakit sample size? Bakit small letter E? Eh? Kasi nga, ito yung number na magre-represent ng ating population. Okay? Magkaiba si population size and sample size. Kaya nga, ibang letters or pinaliit natin yung small letter N dahil nga, magkaiba sila. And take note, yung sample size natin is manggagaling doon sa population. So, kung sa population natin sa grade 11 na 156 and 10 lang yung kukunin doon, so yung 10 na yun yung sample size. Okay? So, of course, may kanya-kanyang gamit yan. Kapag a scenario na binigay ay parameter, yung population na, na mean ang kukunin natin, ang gagamitin natin. Otherwise, kapag siya ay statistic, ang gagamitin natin to find the mean is the sample mean formula. Nakuha po ako. Can I get an amen? Charot. 
<laughs> Joke lang. Na, na, nakakuha rin ba ako, class? Yes po, sir. Okay, oh, sige. Kailangan ko lang naman ng assurance. Baka kasi talaga hindi na ako marinig, di ba? <laughs> okay. Ngayon, class, ito yung kaibahan. Don't worry, tuturuan ko kayo ng, ano, ng better way of solving. Okay? Madali lang naman to siya, class, actually. May formula lang na susundin. Actually, kung ano yung ginawa natin noong first quarter, yun lang din yung gagawin natin. Ay, sorry, third quarter pala. Yun yung gagawin natin dito sa last quarter. Konti na lang, class. Konting tumbling na lang. Ano na, pa-end na yung ano, school year. Yun na lang yung motivation natin. Okay? So, ano week na ba ngayon? Oh, first week na yun. Ay, second week na ngayon ng June. O, oh, ilang ano na lang? One, two, three, four. Ayan, five weeks na lang. <laughs> so, ayun. Okay, so, yun nga. Okay na tayo sa mean. Doon na tayo sa variance and standard deviation. So, sa variance class and standard deviation, actually, there is a difference. Actually, pareho lang naman talaga sila. Pero meron ang difference. Ano daw, sir? Bolo? <laughs> Hindi, I mean, similar sila, pero may kaibahan lang ng slide. Okay? So, sa variance natin for our parameter, for our population, it is sigma squared is equal to sig sigma or the summation of x minus mu squared over n. Okay? Similar siya nung statistic. Pero, tignan nyo yung denominator. Merong minus 1. So, sigma square, uh, S squared is equal to the summation of X minus X bar squared over N minus 1. Pareho kailangan ng mean para ma-obtain yung variance. Kunin muna natin yung mean bago makuha yung variance. Same yun sila pag parameter and statistic. Same din halos ng formula. But the thing is, kapag sample ang kinuhaan natin for the variance, merong minus 1 sa denominator. Okay? Ima-minus 1 natin yung sample size. Sa population, wala. Okay, gamitin nyo itong mnemonics. Gamitin nyo itong palatandaan. Um, di ba, anong, anong gagawin nyo kapag, ano, kapag sinabihan kayong sample, sample? <laughs> di ba, sample, sample, anong gagawin? Di ba, it's either you sing. O kung nalik, kakanta kayo sa sample nyo. Anong kailangan nyo para kumanta or para mag-sample? Di ba, you need minus 1 para makakanta kayo. <laughs> so, yun yung gagawin na palatandaan na kapag sample, may minus 1. Okay? So, the denominator and the sample are what? Or have been subtracted to what? Okay? Di ba similar lang, class? So, the thing is, may minus 1 lang dito. Ngayon, class, ito na, standard deviation. Sir, paano kunin si standard deviation? Pareho lang sila ng process. All you have to do is to square root our variance. Kaya kung papansin ninyo, class, pareho lang sila ng formula, di ba? The thing is, meron lang radical sign. So, to find our standard deviation, all we have to do is to square root our variance. Okay? May question po ba in this part? Wala na po, sir. Okay. Oh, sabihin niya ako medyo malabo yung sinasabi ko, class. Ah, kasi ang hirap pala mag-sight pag may braces. May braces. <laughs> Meron, ewan ko nga kung yun pa rin yung way of speaking ko, pero parang nade-deviate na siya from the norm. Alam mo? <laughs> Ayun. Basta kung may question lang kayo, class, na hindi niyo naintindihan, lalo na mabilis ako magsalita, um, paulit yun na lang sa akin. Okay? So, yun po. At saka baka nag-lag rin kayo, di ba? Baka para ano din. Okay. So, sige. The best way to learn this formula is through example. Okay? So, ayun nga. So, ang gagawin natin, class, kapag meron tayong problem solving, more probably sa statistics, problem solving siya. So, i-apply natin siya, class. Okay? Ngayon, class, hindi ko kayo bibigyan ng, ng option to, to, ano, to, mali. Hindi ko pala kayo bibigyan ng requirement to solve this in a way that it, would fall under Polya's four-step rule of problem solving. Gagawin na lang natin siyang tabular para kasi ang haba ng sisulat natin sa Polya's four-step rule. Di naman natin nagigyat yung, yung, ano, yung parang pampagulo lang yung iba. Anyway, kukunin natin na lang yung final answer. Yun naman yung importante. 
kapag may time problem solving class na ganito, all we have to do first is to question ourselves if it's population or sample or specifically kung parameter ba siya or statistic. Okay. So dito sa problem na to, the number of work the number of workers in six outlets of a fast food restaurant are 13, 12, 12, 15, 12 and 14. Treating this data as a population, find the parameter. Ngayon, class question. Is this um parameter or statistic? Sige nga. Parameter or statistic? Hello. Saan so naman kausap ko? Parameter, sir. <laughs> okay, parameter. Kasi sinabi siya. Ayan. Oh, sige, tama. Ayan, sinabi siya. What if ko hindi sinabi na parameter? Ah, oh, sige. The numbers of workers in six outlets po. Oo, yun. Kasi parameter siya. Ngayon, class, ganito. Um, kapag siya ay statistic, siya ay sample, merong words doon, class, na magsasabi na siya ay sample at siya ay statistic. Okay? Kaya nga, tinuro ko muna sa inyo yung random sample. Ah, mali, hindi ko pala tinuro. Binigay ko sa inyo yung random sampling, pinabasa ko sa inyo para maintindihan nyo yung random sampling kasi gagawin nyo siya sa research and applicable siya sa mga susunod na subject. Ngayon, class, kap may mga words dyan. Kapag sa problem, may, may mga words na magsasabi na siya ay sample. Okay? Ngayon, kapag walang sinabi na siya ay sample, automatically siya ay population. Okay? So, mamaya, mayroon tayo mga example. Pero as of now, ito muna tayo sa example number one. Okay. So, ito na nga. The number of workers in six outlets of a fast food restaurant are 13, ayan, 13, 12, 12, 15, 12, and 14. <clears throat> Sorry. So, first step is, itong gagawin natin, ha? First step is to list muna the data. So, gagawa tayo ng table class. Okay, so we have x. Ano yung mga x natin kanina? Yung binigay na data. 13, 12, 12, 15, 12, and 14. Tama ba? Ilang 12 yun? Tatlo. Ayan. So, okay lang class na ulit. Kasi individual data naman yan. Ngayon class, sige, sulat muna natin yung formula for our mean. Dahil na parameter siya, class, kukunin natin yung formula for parameter, which is mu. So, mu is equal to the summation of x over capital letter N. Okay, question, class. Dahil nga, mean, ay, wait, mamaya na tayo question, sige. Mean, class, di ba? So, mean. Yan kasi ang importanteng kunin lagi bago makuha si variance and standard deviation kasi kailangan siya sa sa variance and standard deviation, di ba? Ngayon class, alam na natin kung paano kukunin yung x ano yung summation of x. Ngayon class, question, what is our n? Ano yung n natin? Yung capital letter n. Ano na nga yung capital letter N class? Population size po. Okay, population size. So, paano natin kukunin yung population size kung ilang yung binigay na data? So, pwedeng hindi siya ibigay, pwede siyang sabihin. So, in this case, 6 ang ating population data. So, sir, paano sir pag walang sinabi? So, ang gagawin mo is bilangin mo lang. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ang n natin ay 6. Ngayon, class, paano kukunin yung summation of x? Di ba? Average to. So, i-add mo lang lahat yan. Sige nga, i-add nyo nga. 13 plus 12 plus 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 14. Okay. So, to remind you, class, this is a statistics class. So, better to have your scientific calculator beside you. 78 po, sir. Ayan. So, the sum is 78. Okay. Ngayon, oh, using the formula, we have mu is equal to summation of x over n. Let's substitute the data. 
So, we have 78 over 6. O, ilan yung mu natin? Thirteen po. Okay, thirteen. Okay, very good. So, our mean is thirteen. O, timing lang yan na whole number class. Or pag decimal yan siya class, ha? Tandaan. Okay. So, eto na. May, meron na tayong mean. Ang hinahanap kasi is parameters. So, pag parameters, kukunin natin from mean to standard deviation. So, kunin natin yung formula ngayon for variance na. Kasi, meron na tayong mean. So, ano yung formula natin for variance? So, yung formula natin for variance is summation of x minus the mu squared over n. Okay? So, meron na tayong n. Kukunin na lang natin si x or the c summation of x minus mu squared. Okay? O pareho lang class yan ang ginagawa natin dati. Parang wala lang p of x. Okay? So, meron na tayong x and meron na tayong mu. So, kunin natin yung summation. Ay, sorry. Yeah. Kunin natin yung summation of mu squared. So, for next table is hanapin natin yung summation of mu muna. Okay? So, paano natin gagawin yung summation of mu? Isusubtract natin class yung mga scores natin sa ating um, mean. Sa ating mean na nakuha. Tanggalin ko lang yung guit sa gilid. Baka akala nyo negative. Okay? So, ayan siya. So, 13 ang mu natin. So, ang iisa-isahin natin yan. 13 minus mu, 13. So, 13 minus 13, 0. 12 minus our mu, which is 13, negative 1. 12 minus 13, negative 1. 5 minus I15 minus 13, 2. 12 minus 13, negative 1. 14 minus 13, 1. Okay, question. Sir, bakit, sir, nagsusubtract tayo sa 13? Kasi nga po, yun yung mu natin. Okay? So kung ano yung mean, constant na siya na mamayon sa lahat ng data. Katulad nga na ginagawa natin last time. Okay. Meron na tayong x minus mu. So isi-square natin siya. x minus mu squared. Ngayon pala class, same principle lang din yung i-apply natin. Four deci uh, six decimal places yung maximum. Pag nasa table tayo, sa final answer ay four decimal places. Para uniform lahat. Okay? Yun. May minus kapag hindi sinunod yun. <laughs> Para accurate tayo class. Okay? So, yun po. So, dahil meron na tayong x minus mu, is squared na natin siya. So, 0 squared, 0. 1, negative 1 squared, 1. Negative 1 squared, 1. Neg 2 squared, 4. Negative 1 squared, 1. 1 squared, 1. Okay, again, class, linawin ko lang dahil nag-squared tayo, positive na lahat ng data. Kasi, di ba, negative times negative is positive. Baka pag sa calculator lang, class, may mali yan siya, class, pag nag-squared. Kaya negative pa rin. Kaya kapag nag-squared ng negative, make sure na in-enclose nyo muna siya sa parenthesis. Okay? So, yun po. Ngayon, meron na tayong x minus mu squared. E summation yung kailangan. So, ang gagawin natin is ia-add natin yung mga number. So, we have 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1. So, ilan? 8, sir. 8. Sir, di mo sinama yung 0. Di mo pa inad. <laughs> 0 na nga, di ba? So, di ko na sinama. Okay? So, 8. Okay. So, 8. Ito na siya. I-substitute na natin. O, meron na tayong summation of x minus mu squared, so 8 yan, over n. O ang n natin hindi nagbabago, 6, 6 yan siya. So 6. So 8 over 6, ilan yan sa decimal? 8 divide 6. So that is, ayan na, ang haba. 1.3333. Again, for decimal places, kasi final answer. Yan yung ating sigma squared. So to find our standard deviation, Ito kasi variance, so, di ba? Anong gagawin natin sa variance para mahanap si standard deviation? Squared. Squared or is a square root? Square root pala, sir. <laughs> okay, is a square root natin. So, square root ng 1.3333, ayan, 
So, square root ng 1.3333, that would be 1.1547. At okay, round off na lang po. Huwag po tulin. Round off to four decimal places. Okay? So, yan po siya. So, may question po, class. Ay, okay. Sige, dito po kasi. Ah, oh, sige, thank you. Okay, dito classic, dito kasi class. Bakit parang naghihina ng boses ko? Ayun. Pasok na siya sa bibig ko, charot. <laughs> dito kasi class, um how would I say this? Um inedit ko kasi mga data for your example. Kasi ang haba ang kapag decimal. Pero if you're uh, uh, mamaya, i-upload ko yung klase ninyo sa yung klase ng Rutherford. Sa Rutherford kasi hindi naglagay-lagay ako ng number. So decimal kanila ang hahaba nun. So pakicheck na lang class kung paano sila nag-solve in decimals. Ngayon kasi parang puro whole number na ito atang nabigay ko eh. So ayun siya. Inedit ko kasi para hindi tayo kumain ng time masyado. Okay? So ayan siya. So, medyo maliwanag naman class yung procedure. Ang pahirap lang naman dito kasi class is yung number itself. Kung mahaba yung numbers, kung mahaba yung data, kung tawag dito, kung decimal siya, yun yung nagapatagal eh. So, pero yung process, kung nasundan nyo naman and medyo careful naman kayo sa pagsagot, makukuha nyo yung final answer. Kasi, once na may mali tayo na data sa pinakataas pa lang, mali na tayo. Domino effect yan class. Okay? So, yun po siya. Um, sige, bago tayo mag-proceed, okay naman ba, Ojo? Oh, hindi naman narinig yung mga hininga ko. <laughs> narinig ba? <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, may mga teacher kasi daw na gano'n. Parang, ang bothering lang kasi sa akin. <laughs> Di ba? Parang, okay. Ah, sige. Ah, proceed na tayo. Ah, ito, class. The following are ages of 10 math teachers at Northern High School. So, we have 30, 34, 38, 28, 39, 21, 29, 31, 30, and 40. So, compute the standard deviation. Again, class, para makuha yung standard deviation, we need to go to the mean and to the variance pa. Kaya, <laughs> hindi siya actually madali. Okay? So, yun. Dadaan na pa natin yung dalawa. Ngayon po, class, kapag naglilista tayo ng, ng, ng ages or ng data or ng scores, wala po yung kaso kung ano yung mauuna. As long as yun pa rin yung mga data, pareho pa rin tayo ng makukuha. Okay? Pero bago natin isolve yan, class, tanungin ko muna kayo. Yung data ba na binigay ay parameter or statistic? Sige nga, i-chat nyo yung answer nyo. Chat nyo na lang answers ninyo sa chat box. Bigyan ko kayo na 20 seconds. Parameter or statistic? O, time starts now. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Tala, tatuloy na participate. <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. O, time's up. O, kamusta naman yung walong di nag-recite? Ayan, apat na. Ay, nawala tuloy tayo. Okay. O, doon sa apat na nag-recite, thank you. O, sa mga hindi nag-recite, bahala kayo sa buhay nyo, bababagrade nyo. Okay. So, sa apat na nag-recite, el apat ba sila? One, two, three, four, five. Five na ba? Ah, four nga. Okay. Wala tumama sa inyo, mga bebe. <laughs> Ang sagot nyo na is statistic. Okay, ang sagot dito, class, is parameter. Bakit parameter? Question. May sinabi ba dito sa ating question na siya ay nagkaroon ng sampling? May sinabi ba, class, na may ginawang sampling? Meron wala? Wala po. Okay, wala. So, kung wala, ibig sabihin, automatically, siya ay population. And siya ay parameter. Okay? Kasi kung wala ginawang sampling, ibig sabihin, 10 lang talaga yung math teachers doon sa Northern High School. Yun yun siya. 
Yun yung tatandaan nyo ha. Kapag may sinabi about sampling or may gagawin ka na sampling, yun ay statistic. Otherwise, kapag yan na yung data, parang feeling mo general na yan siya, o population po agad yun. And siya ay parameter. So, anong gagamitin natin dito? Statistic or parameter? Parameter po. Okay, parameter. Kasi walang sampling. O, nakuha nyo na yung data. O, kunin nyo ha. 30, 38, 20, 39, 29, 30, 34, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 
O oh, sige, um pakitin natin yung answer sa Okay. Um sige, medyo, medyo mahaba pala yung ano, yung gagawin. Pero sige, eto na lang yung gagawin natin. Check na lang natin. Ay, sobra. Okay. So, sulat natin lahat ng data. Yun yung x natin, okay? So, we have x. Ano yung mga x natin? 30, 38, 34, um, 28, uh, 39, 21, 29, 31, 30, and 40. Okay? So, ayan na, mula na. Okay. So, ano ang mean natin? Ang formula natin for mean is, di ba, mu is equal to the summation of x over capital letter N. Okay. Ilan ang summation of x natin? Ipag-add lang natin itong lahat. Ilan? 320. Okay, 320. So, 320 yung sum nito nila. 320 yan. Okay. So, 320 divided by, ilan sila? 1, 2, 3, 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10. So, ilan ang mean? 32, sir. Okay. 32. Sakto. Okay? Next is, dahil meron na tayong mu, isubtract natin yung mu from x. Okay? So, ayan siya. So, 30 minus 32. So, we have negative 2. Tama? Tapos 6. Tapos 2. 4. Ay, negative 4. Sorry. Negative 4. Tapos negative, ah, sorry, 7. Positive 7. Um, Negative 11, tama ba? Negative 11. Tapos negative 3 pala. Negative 3. Ne um, negative 1. Negative 2. At saka 8. Ayan. Tapos square natin. Okay? O, squared. So, x minus mu, squared. Okay? So, Square natin sa isa. So we have 4, 36, 4, 16, 49, 121, 9, um, ilan na to? Uh, 1. <laughs> 1 squared, 1 lang naman eh. 4 and 64. Okay. So ilan ang sum niyan pag pinag-add? 308. So, 308. Okay. So, ang formula natin for sigma squared for our variance is summation of x minus mu squared over n. Okay. So, what's the sum? 308 divided by kung ilan sila, which is 10. Ayan. So, ilan? So, 30.8. 30. 30.8. Ayan po yung ating sigma squared. So, simply square root 30.8, that would be our mean. I mean, ano ba yan? Standard deviation. Okay, so standard deviation. So, our standard deviation is 5.5498. Round off natin. So, 98 siya. Kasi ang kasunod ay um, 7. So, that is 5.54977. So, cut natin doon sa unang 7, magiging 8 na. Okay, kasi round off. So, ayan po. Question? Wala na po, sir. O, sige. Saan nahirapan na lang? Bukod sa marami. <laughs> diba? May time na nakakalito siya. Ah, yes, Jessarelle. Sir? Yes po. Sir, hindi ko po nakuha yung paano nakuha yung ano 5.5498. Ah, okay, sige. Um, Jeshurel, ito siya, 'di ba? Oh, sige, ano na to? I'm speaking in general, ha? Okay. Pag nakuha na natin yung variance, itong variance kasi na na-solve natin is 30.8, 'di ba? Para makuha si standard deviation, 'di ba? Katulad ng mga topic din natin nung nauna, all we have to do is to square root our variance. So, para makuha natin si standard deviation, square root lang natin si 30.8. So, square root ng 30.8, yun na yung 
yun na yung ating standard deviation. So, yung 5.5498. Okay. So, ayun. Other question po. O, baka may, medyo na may na-missed kayo na part. So, ayun. Uh, may question pa po dito? Wala na po, sir. Okay. Sure, kaya pala na-atching ako eh. May maaso dito. <laughs> Ayun. At, may di lang po nasama. Ah, yun. Oo. Kaya make sure na you check all your ano your data. Kasi minsan, oh, katod kahapon sa Rutherford, 15 examples yung, 15 numbers yung binigay ko. Tapos sabi ko, tagal ko man mag-antay. Yun pala ang haba pala talaga. Tapos decimal pa. So, make sure pag ganun class, ang gawin nyo class is naka-table. Ito kasi ngayon, ayoko mag-table. Di ba? Usually, nag-table ako. Hindi ako nag-table class kasi kain space sa board natin. Okay. So, yan po. O, sige, proceed na tayo. Ayan. O, ito. Example number three. The following test result of the 19 grade male students in a 20-item math test are used for research purposes. So we have 14, 15, 17, 19, 12, 15, 20, 15, 12, 8, 18, 20, 13, 17, 12, 16, 20, 18, and 11. If every third and fourth scores are used for the research, Find the mean and the standard deviation. Sige, question. Is this a parameter or a statistic? Sige nga. 20 seconds ulit sa chat box. Okay, time starts now. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up na. Ayan. Okay. O, sige. Ano siya? Parameter statistic? O, sige. Tanongin, magtanong na lang ako. <laughs> um... Sige si Jeshorel. Ah, bakit, bakit siya statistic Jeshorel? Sir? Yes pa. Doon po ako nag-base yung sa baba ng statement, yung every third and fourth scores. Apo. So, ano, feel ko lang pa na mag-random siya. Ay, nag nag ano siya magpi-pick siya doon hindi po yung lahat ng ano yung gagamitin mag mag parang may sampling na magaganap ganun po <laughs> okay actually <laughs> sure, sir. actually that is correct tama yung sinabi ni Jesherel may kukunin lang doon sa data set okay assuming na kunari lang 19 grade 19 lang talaga ang grade 10 students male students okay and Tama yung observation ni Jeshurel na doon sa last statement, may mangyayaring something. Tama yung term niya. May kukunin doon. Actually, di niya nasabi, pero nagkaroon ng random sampling. ba? Kung matatandaan nyo, class, doon sa binasa nyo last um, topic, ba? meron tayong apat na random sampling techniques. And one of which is choosing the case term or case score. Parang K as in KTH, yung pang, kung pang ilang score. Diba? In this case, kinuha yung every third and every fourth scores to use for the research instead of getting the 19 scores of grade 10 male students. So, ang tawag dito sa sampling na to, kung natatandaan nyo ay, diba, siya ay systematic random sampling or systematic sampling. Tama? Na naalala? Oh, ayun. Yes po, sir. Okay, dahil nga may sampling na doon sa word, systematic sampling siya, siya ay sample and siya ay statistic. Okay? O, ayun na. Statistic na tayo ngayon. Kanina pa tayo sa parameter. So, yun yung magpa 
yung class, yun yung lagi class. Kaya nga, katod ng, katod ng sa polya, yung first step doon is always interpret the problem. So, kailangan alam natin yung yung problem na intindihan natin mabuti. Wala tayong nakakaligti ang points na i-consider. Okay? So, sige. Dahil nga inutusan pa tayo na magkuha ng third and fourth scores, kunin natin yung mga score na yon. So, simula, simula muna tayo sa every third score. Okay? So, bilang tayo ng 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Ayan, parang sayaw lang. So, yan yung kukunin natin third scores. Every third score is his kukunin. Sunod naman yung every fourth score. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 naman yung bilang. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. O, oh, nabili ko na si 20. So, siya na ulit yun. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3. Okay, di na putol. So, dyan lang. So, yung may mga circle class, yan yung every third and every fourth scores. And yan yung gagamitin natin to find the mean and the standard deviation. So, pakilista na yung mga scores kasi yan yung ipaprocess natin mamaya-maya lang. So, kunin muna natin ha. 17, 19, 15, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109, 109,
16i0, 18i2. Whole number na naman. Di na naman kayo nahirapan. <laughs> okay. So, i-square lang natin. Sunod. Ay, na-squared natin. So, 1 squared 1, 3 squared 9, negative 1 squared 1, negative 1 squared 1, negative 4 squared 16, 4 squared 16, negative 4 squared 16, 0 squared 0, 2 squared 4. Okay, paki-add. 1 plus 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 4 plus 0 plus 4. 64. 64 po. Okay. So, yan na yung formula natin. Sigma squared is 64. Yan yung kasi numerator. Ay, sorry, may minus 1 pala dito mga bebe. Minus 1. Kasi nga sample, di ba? 64 over n minus 1. Ilan ang n natin? 9 po. 9. So, 9 minus 1, 8. Diba? Ang minus 1 lagi, ay, ay sorry, kapag nagsasample, merong minus 1. Okay? Yan yung tandaan. So, S squared natin is 64 over 8. So, 64 divided by 8, ilan? 8. Okay. So, eight our po. variance, very good, our variance is 8. How about our standard deviation? So, dahil meron na tayong variance, square it lang natin yung, yeah, square it natin yung variance para makuha si standard deviation. So, square root of 8, yun ay 2.8284. This is our standard deviation. So, yan po siya, class. Sige, question po. Wala po, sir. Wala. Okay. Ah, sige, wait lang ha. Sir, naman, hindi ko nang pa. Sir? Yes po, sorry. Yung sa kanina po, sa ano po, dun sa may ex po, sir, di ba sir, sa third... Yung every third tsaka sa every fourth po, sir, mayroong, may, yung, may isa po doon na nagdoble. Ah, sa 20. Yan po, sir. Apo, hindi na po yun siya uulitin, sir. Ay, oo, hindi na kasi, uh, tawag dito, nadaanan na siya ng third A. Eh. Kasi sabi every third and every fourth scores. Di ba isipin yung pag-recitation, nadaanan ka na ulit. <laughs> Nung dalawang beses yung maklasis mo, isa pa lang. Pero ikaw pa rin yun. Parang okay ganun. po, sir. Thank you uh -oh. po. Individual scores kasi siya. So, hindi na kailangan ulitin. Same way goes, doon naman sa mga naulit na score, hindi nyo siya pag-iisahin. Kunwari, dalawang 15, dalawang 15 ang ilalagay nyo, hindi nyo siya pag-iisahin na isang 15 ang ilalagay. Okay? So, ganun siya. Okay, so yun po. So, may question pa po na iba. Okay, mukhang wala na ata. Parang nag enjoy ka. nag enjoy <laughs> Okay, so next po tayo. O, dito na tayo. Ito may decimal. Pero don't worry, ano lang to eh. Lima lang to. Kaya di kayo masistress. Okay, ay, five lang pala to siya. Di ko na edit. Ayan, the following. Ayan, the following are the heights in meters of randomly selected five athletes at PPC NSHS. So we have 1.76, 1.58. Ayan, 1.58, 1.93, 2 and 1.64. Now, compute for the standard deviation. O, ayan. O, ulitin ko lang. Isulat ko na lang yung formula ulit. Okay. So, ayan. So, ang formula natin for the mean is X bar. Kasi nga, siya ay sample. Bakit sample class? Sige nga, di ko pala kayo natanong kung, ano, kung statistic or parameter. Pero siya ay statistic. Oh, bakit siya statistic? Kasi po, kasi, sir, sabi po, randomly selected. Oh, very good. Kasi, randomly selected. Pag may randomly selected, ibig sabihin, siya ay sample. Saka, da, maniwala ako, limala yung atlet sa City High. Yan, dami-dami kaya. <laughs> diba? Iba nga may maropat, saka, ano pa, nationals. Ayan. So, anyway, so, ayan siya. So, hanapin yung mean and Hanapin yung standard deviation, pero dadaan pa rin sa mean and variance. Tama? So, ito siya. 
So x bar, formula ng sample mean ng statistics, a statistic is summation of x over small letter n. Okay? Sa ating variance naman, ayan, naka-symbol. Naka sa ating variance, ang s squared is equal to the summation of x minus x bar squared over small letter n minus 1. O, alam niyo naman kung bakit naging s ha? kasi sample. Sigma yan siya kapag population, pag parameter. Okay? Sige, o, five minutes ulit. Pag may question, chat lang po kayo. Okay? So, timer starts now.
Ayan. So, gamer na tayong mean. Pero, mahaba-haba pa yung dadaanan natin sa standard deviation and sa ating... Diba? Standard deviation ba to? Oo. Sa covariance, sa standard deviation. Ah, sige. Um, I'll be giving you... Um, ano hours na ba? Sige, additional time to do so. Ayan. So, sige, bigyan ko pa ng four, ano, four minutes pa. At three minutes na lang. Open mic ba ako? Ayan. Hindi <laughs> ka saita, saita ba? <laughs> okay. O, sige. Um, gawin na natin class ha. Tapos uh, check natin kung tama yung procedures na gagawin natin. Okay? O, sige. Isa-isahin natin. And i-check nyo kung saan kayo part na mali. Okay. So, ano yung mga data na binigay sa atin? We have 1.76, 1.58, um, 1.93, Uh, and then we have 2.09. And lastly, we have 1.64. Okay. Of course, lima lang yan. So, lima ang ating sample size. Okay? So, ayan. Ngayon, class, ilista muna natin yung formula para guided tayo. Okay? So, the formula is summation of x over n. Tandaan nyo, class, ang may minus 1 lang ay variance and standard deviation. Anyway, variance lang. Kasi nag-square it lang tayo for standard deviation. Okay? So, yun po. So, walang minus 1 kapag mean, ha? Reiterate ko lang. Baka nag-minus 1 din kayo. So, ano yung sum nito? 9. Tama ako? 9 ba? Yes, sir. Okay. 9. So, substitute. So, we have x bar is equal to 9 over ilan sila lahat? 5. Our mean is equal to 1.8. Okay. So, 1.8. Ngayon, class, um, isubtract natin yung mean, yung x bar, doon kay x. Katulad na ginagawa natin kanina pa. So, 1.8 minus 1.76. So, we have 0.04. Negative, sorry. Negative 0.04. 1.58 minus 1.8 is negative 0.22. 1.93 minus 1.8 is 0.13. Actually, ang gagawin ko sana dito kanina, class, whole number na lang sana in centimeters. Pero okay na yan, Desi. Masanay kayo. Tapos, 2.8. 0.9 minus 1.8 is 0.29. And 1.64 minus 1.8 is 0. Ah, negative 0.16. Ayan. Paki-squared. Okay. X minus X bar. Okay. So, hindi kayo ng calculator ninyo at nag-standard, nag-ano siya, nag, tawag dito? Nag-scientific notation. Tinuruan ko kayo ng gen math, kaya kayo na mag-convert. So, 0.0016. Di ba, ang nakalagay doon is 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 3, di ba? So, mag-3 steps lang kayo. 1, 2, 3. O, ayan na siya. Okay. Next, we have 0.22 squared. We have 0.0484. Ayan. Next po is 0.0169. Next is 0.0841. 
and next is 0 0.0256. What's the sum? Pare ba tayo mga numbers na nakuha? 0 0.1766. 0 Tama? 0 0.1766. Okay, oh, pareho tayo. Buti naman. <laughs> okay, ngayon class, oh, sulat ko na yung formula ng, ano, ng variance. Hindi ko nasulat. Okay, so summation of x minus x bar squared divided by n, dahil nga siya ay sample, minus 1 si variance sa denominator. Okay, so ilan ang summation? 0 0.1766 divided by 4. Bakit 4? 5 ang ating sample size, minus one. So, 0 0.1766 divided by 4, that would be ito na. 0. 0.044 dahil 4 decimals. Okay, uh -oh. decimal crisis class is apat lang. Di ba sabi ko sa final answer? So, gawin nyo na lang siyang 2. Kasi ang katabi ni 1 ay 5. <laughs> Kasi nga wako ah, pag V. <laughs> okay, so siya ay 0 0.0442 na lang. Kasi di ba ang, ang answer ay 0 0.04415, di ba? So ito na lang siya class, 442. Kasi 5 ang katabi, round up yan. Okay? Ngayon class, oh, square root nyo lang yan siya. I-type nyo na lang ulit sa calculator. Square root of 0 0.0442. The answer is? 0. 21. 0, 21, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Ayan siya. So, ito yung process natin. O pag, ito class ha, um, share ko lang. Kapag dito na tayo sa, ano, sa, sa table, katulad ng ginagawa atin dati, maximum of, maximum of six decimal places. Okay? Pag sa table. Sa so final answer, maximum of four decimal places lang. Para uniform tayo class. Para pag nag-check ako, ah, okay. Kaya kapag may mga minor errors lang. O pwede ko na yun siya i-consider. So, may question po sa ating sample. May question sa statistics, sa statistic class. Statistic lang. Wala. Wala. Ay, wala na? Wala po, sir. Okay. O, sige. Kung wala, o, sige. Last na topic na to. Total may time pa naman tayo. Okay, ito na. Group data naman tayo, class. Tato lang to, don't worry. Ayan. Statistic. So, kapag group data siya, class, kinoconsider natin siya as sample. Okay? Bakit sir sample? Kasi nga, green up muna siya. Inarrange muna siya. So, kapag may group siya, class, I'm not sure if you were taught in your junior high school statistics about frequency distribution. Tinuro ba sa inyo? Frequency distribution. So, kung wala, oh, ito yon. papakita ko. Pero ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, for mean, we have the summation of F. X to class A, I forgot. Hindi ko na pahitan. Sa ibang books kasi D. So, X na lang para madali. So, summation of F, X over summation of F. For our mean, X bar nga kasi sample na lang siya. Tapos, for our variance, S squared is equal to the summation of F times x minus x bar over summation of f minus 1. Okay. So, as I've said earlier, trying is the best learning. Diba? So, let's try the example. Ito yung itsura ng frequency distribution class. Usually, nakagroup siya. Okay? Nagbibigay tayo ng range, tapos bibilangin kung ilan. Diba? Minsan si teacher nagtatanong, oh, ilan na nakakuha ng 8 to 10? Yan yung pasado. Diba? Yun class, yun tinatawag nating frequency distribution. Kasi nagbibigay si teacher ng interval, ng range, tapos bibilangin niya kung ilan yung mga pumasok sa range na yun. Okay? Tinawag siyang frequency dahil yun yung times kung ilang beses na ulit yung mga scores in between nun. Okay? 
the following is the frequency distribution of the number of books each teacher have. Tarong grammar. Compute for the mean and the standard deviation. So, isulat natin class yung formula para hindi kayo, um, para guided tayo. So, x bar is equal to the summation of fx over summation of f. The other one, our variance, is, sum, um, is summation of f times x minus x bar over uh, squared over n minus 1. Ayan siya. Okay. Ngayon, class, kailangan natin yung x. Sir, paano natin kukunin yung x? O, lagay nyo lang dyan. Magawa kayo ng next table, x. Paano kinukuha ang x? Yung x natin, class, is the average of the first number and the last number in the range. Or the highest number and the lowest number in the range. So, 1 and 5, 6 and 10, 11, 15, 16 and 20. Yan po yung mga scores na hahanapan natin ng average. So, paano ang gagawin natin? ipag add lang natin yung highest and yung highest, ito yung highest, and yung lowest na data doon sa range and then add them, divide into 2. Okay? So, 1 plus 5, it's 6. Divided by 2, that is 3. Yun yung magiging x natin. Nakuha ako? Apo, sir. Okay. So, sa 6 and 10, siya ay 8. Okay, kasi 6 plus 10 is 16 divided by 2, it's 8. 11 plus 15, it's 26. Divided by 2, 13. 16 plus 20 is 36. Divided by 2, that's 18. May pattern din dyan actually, class. Pero hindi minsan niya reliable kasi yung range natin nagaiba-iba minsan. Pero kung uniform, katulad nito, ayan, constant yung difference ng bawat isa. O, may F, ano may X na tayo. ba class? Ano yung kailangan ba sa formula ng mean? Kasi siya yung laging unang hinahanap. Kailangan natin ng Fx. So, anong gagawin natin pag may Fx? We all need to multiply F to our X. So, ang gagawin natin isa-isa, 17 times 3, 51. 9 ta tama ba? 17 times 3, 51. Tama? 9 times 8, 72. 15 times 3, 65. Uh, 5 times 13, 65. And 4 times 18, 72. Pakicheck nga kung tama. O tama. <laughs> tama ba? Okay, tama. And then, o yan no, summation of Fx. O ipag-add lang yan. 51 plus 72 plus 65 plus 72. That is 260. Okay, ay, 260. Ngayon, class, kailangan natin ng denominator. Wala tayong N dito. Ang N natin is sample size. Yung sample size is ito total mo lang lahat ng frequency. So, ipag-add mo lahat ng frequency. So, 17 plus 9 plus 5 plus 4, yun yung ating sample size, which is 35. Yan yung summation of F. Nakuha ako, class? Yes, po. Okay. So, kunin natin yung formula ng ating x bar, ang ating mean. So, we have summation of x, f of x over summation of x. So, ano yung summation of fx natin? That is 260 divided by 35. So, 260 divided by 35 is? 7.42. Eighty-six. Seven point forty-two eighty-six. Sisi, na naman kami ng decimal. Ayon. So, ang gagawin natin sa nod is hahanapin na natin yung variance para makuha natin yung standard deviation. Ano na yung formula for the variance? Ayan yung nasa taas. So, katulad ng gagawin natin, unahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Parenthesis. Hanapin muna natin yung ating x minus x bar. Sir, ang haba. So, so, ano yung x natin? Ito na yung nasa gitna. Ito yun siya, oh. Yan. So, isusubtract natin 
yung 7.4 to 86 dito sa x. So, 3 minus 7.40 to 86, that is, ayun na ang haba nga, negative 4.4286. O, ayan na siya. 8 minus 7.4286, that is, 0 0.5714. O, dire diretso na ako ha. 4 point, tama 4? 5 pala, sorry. I five. Wait lang. Di ako sure. May rap na. <laughs> so, 13 minus 7.4286 o 5 nga. 5.5714 and 8 ilan ba? A 10. Yeah, 10. 10.5714 Yan na siya, class. Medyo mahaba to ha? Kaya brace yourself. Ayan. Ngayon, class, is squared. Sir. <laughs> Walang katamos ang ano to, class. Papahirap. Charot. Ayan. So, squared na natin sila isa-isa. So, 4.4286 squared. Ayan. Ang haba. So, anim lang. Kasi anim ang decimal places na maximum, di ba? So, 19.6124. 98. Tama? Okay. 0.5714 squared. That is 0 0.326498. Okay. Next is 5.5714 squared. That is 31.0404. 9, 8. And lastly, we have 10.5714 squared. It's 111.754498. Di pa yan tapos class. Kasi ita times pa natin si F. May frequency pa o. Oh. Di ba may F? Oh, F times X minus X bar squared. Oh, don't worry, last na ano na to, pahirap. <laughs> 19.61, times 17, we have 33.4124, 3, 3, 32.6498, times 9, ayan, so we have 2.938482. Next, 31.040498 times 5. That is 155.2024.9. And lastly, last na to practice, ito na siya. 111. 75, 44, 98 times 4. Sa so frequency tinimes sa So, 447.017992. O, ipag-add lang yun yung apat na yan, class. Buti nga apat ng binigay ko eh. <laughs> Plus, ay na. So, paakit ako mag-add. 4, 447 point something. Plus, 155 point something. Ayan. Plus 2 point something. 93, 84, 82. Plus 33 point kasama niya. 41, 24, ay, 24, 66. Ano yung sum? Pareho ba tayo? So it should be 938.57143. Tama? 938 938.5658 sir. Ay. Check ko ulit. 3 3.412466 plus 2.938482 plus 155.2024.9 plus 447.01 
7992. Tama man. <laughs> Bakit check? Sino yun? Bakit check? Ayun yung labas sa aking magic calculator. Ma? Magic calculator. O sige, ma-check nyo na lang mamaya. Pero tama yan siya. Feeling ko. Ayun. Sige. Next. Ayun na. Ito na siya. Ah, nakuha na natin yung summation of F. Times. Sir, nagkamali pala sir yung ano, yung first ko naging add. Ah, okay. Ah, sige. Ayan. Ang ating ano, ang ating S squared is equal to summation of F times X minus X bar oh, squared. So, ayan na siya. Ito na yun. Nakuha na natin yung 938 na yan. Pinahirapan tayo ng numerator. <laughs> okay. So, summation, uh, sig uh, S squared is equal to the summation of F times X minus X bar squared over n minus 1. So we have 938. Kopyahin nyo muna ng buo. Di pa naman yung final answer. 57143 over n minus 1. Ilan ang n natin? Plus ang ating f of, sorry, summation of f pala to. Ayan. Ilan ang summation of f natin? 34 po. 35. Plus minus 1, 34. Okay. O, ayan na. 938.57143 divided by 34. O, yun na yung variance. O, sigma squared is equal to 27.0... Ah, sorry. Um, 57.6050. Ayan na siya. 60... 50. Kasi for yung sunod, di siya pwede i-round off. Ngayon class, o oh, sige, kunin nyo na lang yun. Doon na lang kayo mag-square root. So, square root ng variance, which is 27.6050, yun yung ating standard deviation, S. Yun ay 5.2540. So, ayan po siya, class. Ganyan po siya kadugo compared dun sa naunang dalawa. So, yan po. May question po. Bukod sa nalito, <laughs> nakakalito talaga siya class, no? Kaya dapat careful din. Sino may question? Wala na po, sir. Okay. O, sige. Kung wala na, o, kaya na naman ang paggagawin ko. Ayan. So, the scores in validating exam in general mathematics of randomly selected 50 grade 11 students are shown below. Solve for the mean, the standard deviation, and the standard deviation pala. So, ayan. So, ito class, real time to. Kinuha ko to sa result nyo dati last time. So, sige. Dahil kayong pagagawin ko, o bonus na sa inyo yung formula, ibibigay ko na. So, x, x bar, the mean is summation of fx over summation of f. Our standard deviation, or sorry, our variance is summation of f times x minus x bar squared over summation of f minus 1. For our standard deviation is square root our variance. Okay? So, okay. Dahil mahaba-haba naman yung time, bigyan ko kayo ng mga 10 minutes to solve. So, okay. Dahil medyo madugo siya. Okay? Okay. So, okay. So, if you have questions, chat lang muna kasi mag-mute ako. Okay po. Kasi magsasolve din ako at i-check ko kung tama. Okay? So, timer starts. Ay, wait na. Check ko muna ko anong oras. Para time talaga. O, sakto. It's, ay, char lang. 11.30. O, 11.40 class. O, end na tayo. Okay? O, sige. Timer starts na. Ay, may question ba ito? Sir, so, paano nga ulit kukunin yung x? Ah, okay. Yung x natin, di ba yun yung unang gagawin? Average ng first 
ah sorry yung x natin is average nung for, nung ano nung low score ng lowest score sa ka highest score doon sa range so add niyo yung 27 sa ka 30 tas divide 2 o same way goes to doon sa pababa
Okay, game na. Total, last na rin naman. O yan. Ah, sige. Find our x. Okay, our x, as I've said earlier, to find our, ang x ay class, I forgot, I'm so sorry. I forgot that our x is what do we call our class mark. Buti naalala ko. Okay, class mark po yung tawag natin dyan. Okay, class mark kasi siya yung average ng ating class interval. Itong interval, okay? Yan, mark, class mark yan siya. Okay, so to find the class mark, to find x, we need to add the, the, the higher score and the lowest, the highest score and the lowest score in the range. Okay, so 27 and 30 yon. So, pag may nag-add natin yun siya, divide, divide, divided by 2, so that would be, ilan? Oh, sir. Ha? 28.5. Okay, 28.5. Tapos, no, 24.5. Tapos, 20.5. And then, 16.5. Ayan. Tapos, multiply our F to our class mark. So, ayan siya. Paakyat. Oh, my God. Okay. So, 28.5 times 20, that is 570. 24.5 times 18, that is 441. 164 times, I sorry, 20.5 times 8 is 164. 18.5. Tama? Tapos 66. Opo. And 66. Okay. 66 po. Ayan. So, add natin lahat. Ang answer ko is 1,241. Tama? Yes, po, sir. Okay. So, diba? Ah, sige. Using the formula, we have x bar. Ayan. So, we have x bar is equal to... <laughs> Bati yung summation ko kaiba na. Summation of fx over summation of f. Ayan. So, 1,241 divided by... Ilan na total? Sinabi dito, 50. Oh, if you are not ano, not convinced, and add nyo lang tong f natin. 50 yan yung sum niya. Okay? So, 1,241 divided by 50 is, yun na yung ating mean, which is? 24.82. 82. Ayan. Nagaharot na yung mga asa gutom na. <laughs> okay. Next is, um, isubtract natin yung ating mean, yung ating x bar sa ating x, sa ating class mark. Okay? Isa-isa yun. So, isulat ko na agad yung answer sa. So, we have 3.68. O, paano ko si 3.68? 28.5 minus our mean, 24.82. And so on. Okay? So, we have 0. Point, or negative 0. 0.32, negative 4.32, and negative 8.32. Okay. Is square isa-isa. X minus X bar squared. So, we have... 13.5424 0 0.1024 um 18.6624 and 69.2224 Ayan na, malapit na tayo sa katotohanan. Okay. Times natin yung frequency yung f. Okay? So f times x minus x bar squared. So from here, multiply our frequency so we have 270.848, and then we have 1.8432, and then we have 149.2992, and lastly, we, we have 276.8896. Okay, i-add po natin yan. Sige nga, add nyo nga. 698.88 po, sir. Okay, 698. 88. Ayan. Oh, sulat ko na yung formula ulit para ma-guided kayo. Okay. Sigma squared is equal to summation of f times x minus x bar over 2. Over, I squared over summation of f minus 1. So that would be 698.88 over our summation of f, which is 50, Minus 1, that would become 49. Okay? 
So our summation, or sorry, so our variance is 69, uh, sorry, 698.88 divided by 49. So that would be 14.2629. Tama? Kasi 5 ang katabi. Ayan. Okay, so square root dito ko na isulat. So square root lang natin yan si 14.2629. That would be our standard deviation. So the answer would be 3.7766. Tama pa? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yun po. May question po kayo. Class, pasensya na. Ito talaga topic natin kasi ang hirap talaga. <laughs> Tama po. Wala. Okay. So, wala na rin. Okay. Kung wa sure, wala. Anyway, later in the evening or kung may time ako mamaya kasi may klase ako mamayang hapon, I will about to upload this lesson. Ay, baka may question. May nakita ko nag-unmute. Nag wala. Wala na po, sir. Okay. Ah, sige. Since, ano hours na ba? Para, ano kayo, uh, para may idea rin kayo kung ang gagawin ninyo. Um, share ko na lang din yung gagawin ninyo for, for hour. For, what's this? Wait lang, ha? Hanapin ko muna. Ayan. I-share ko muna sa inyo yung gagawin for the learning activity. Uh, for our week one. Sorry. Naglalag pa si, ano, si Google. Ayan, okay. Wait lang, ha? Okay. Um, class, huwag kayo masyashock. <laughs> Kasi, eto, wait lang. Kasi meron tayong dalaw, ayan, nakita niyo na. Ayan. So, sa week, se week 7 na tayo ngayon. As you can see, class, dalawa yung ating learning activity sheet. Ay, dalaw I mean, sorry, dalawa ang activity natin for this week. Yung first part is ang gagawin nyo, i-determine nyo kung siya ay um, parameter or statistic. Don't worry, next week pa naman yung deadline nito ng Saturday. Friday pala ang deadline. Kasi pag nabot na Saturday, late na siya. Okay? Ayan po. Tapos, Ang ating um, isang activity, ito na nga yung solving. So yung isa po ay multiple choice. Pili lang kayo kung statistic siya or uh, parameter. Tapos for the other activity, ito siya class. Yan. Um, find the ano, mean, variance, and standard deviation. Lahat naman yan. Okay? So isa dyan parameter, isa dyan statistic. Tapos yung isa dyan ay group data. Ayun. So, yan lang, class. Don't worry, next week pa naman yung deadline yan. Sa kakatawid ng sinasabi ko, class, okay lang naman na medyo malate. Basta i-submit. Ngayon, class, ang hiling ko lang, kung, kung carry lang din naman na gawin on time, kasi matatapos na tayo on June 9. Pag na-late kasi kayo, baka wala akong mabigay na grade sa inyo by fourth quarter, i-submit nyo na. At saka, kindly tell your classmates then. Okay? Na be on time and submission. Okay? So, do you have any concerns? May concern pa ba, class? Okay. Kung na na, class, pasensya na. I think that's all for today. Goodbye, class. Bye! Bye sir. Thank you. Bye sir. Bye sir. Thank you po.